Let's go to New York now, where police are releasing new, unsettling details. They've gathered while investigating that daycare, daycare overdose death. Four children overdosed while at a licensed center. One of them, a one-year-old boy, died. Alice Fainer reports the suspects are facing state and federal charges. Neither suspect was here in the courtroom since both are in federal custody. Attorneys for each waived their appearances. Meantime, on Thursday, a new search warrant was executed at the daycare center. Sources tell us police are looking for traps and false walls commonly found in drug stash houses. The NYPD's crime scene unit is back at Divino Nino Daycare Center in the Bronx, searching the entire place. Last week, one-year-old Nicholas Domenici died after being exposed to fentanyl, and several other children were sickened at the daycare and hospitalized. During a previous search, officials found a kilo of fentanyl stored on top of play mats used by the children and kilo presses. The daycare's owner, 36-year-old Gray Mendez, and her husband's cousin, who rents a room there, 41-year-old Carlisto Acevedo Brito, were arrested and charged in state court with murder of depraved indifference. Earlier this week, they were also slapped with federal narcotics conspiracy charges, which carry a sentence of 20 years to life in prison. During that federal court appearance, Mendez cried and denied any knowledge of a drug operation. Brito denies it too. Federal prosecutors accuse Mendez of playing a role in the drug distribution and in helping her husband escape. They're still looking for him. It's alleged on Friday afternoon, after discovering the children were not waking up from their nap, she made three calls, two to her husband, the third to 911. Today at Bronx Supreme Court, attorneys for both Mendez and Brito had no comment. Both defendants opted not to testify before a grand jury here at Bronx Supreme Court. Their next court date is October 5th. Alice Gaynor, CBS News, The Bronx, New York.